Hi everybody! Woo! Am I nervous for this interview? A little bit. Did I practice for it? No. So everyone please wish me some luck. But I'm going to give it a minute. I just want to welcome everyone back to another episode of our Feature Curiosity series. My name is Jesse. Hi Tanner! <laughs> Hi Vince! Everyone's joining in now. So I just want to officially welcome everyone back to another episode of our series. I hope everyone had a good week so far. It's Thursday, so the weekend is almost there. My name is Jessie and I'm a student coordinator here at UCCS downtown. And this week is a little bittersweet for me because although I love doing these Instagram lives, this is going to be my last one as a member of the team at UCCS downtown. So I'm, I want to, hold on, let's think about what I want to say here. I want to take a minute to give all of our viewers a big thank you for always supporting myself and Vince and Morgan and Stephanie every week we do these. Thank you for always supporting us and constantly tuning in and just keeping up on what we're doing. I know that we all appreciate that. And I also want to take a minute to thank Morgan, Vince, and Stephanie for being such amazing coworkers, teammates, just wonderful people to be with. And I've, I'm honored to have been a part of this team here at UCCS downtown. And although I'm sad to leave, I want to thank everyone that made it the wonderful experience that it was. So all sad things aside, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, today we're going to be interviewing Stephanie. Her name is Stephanie Adams, and she is the site director here at UCCS downtown. So I have a lot of questions to ask her, and I think it's going to give a lot of our viewers and our students some insight as to what goes on downtown and kind of what we're all about. So I'm going to invite her on. She's got me doing a lot of work with pictures and things today, so everyone give me a minute to figure that out. But I'm going to let her hop on here, and we're going to get to going on these questions. Let's see how long it takes to connect with her. We're in the same office, so. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> We're doing good so far. How are you? Awesome. Doing good. Thanks for interviewing me on Feed Your Curiosity. Anytime. We're happy to have you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your intro, and uh, thank you so much for your appreciation for what we do as a team and everything that we do down here. We're going to miss you, but as a student, you'll still have access to come down and see us, come study with Woo! us, come to events. So I can keep uh, up. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you won't be too far away, but thanks okay. so much for your efforts, and, and we really appreciate you. Of course. So do you want to take a second to introduce yourself, maybe say a little bit more than what I said about you? Uh, sure. So I've been the site director here for about a year and a half. That's how long the space has been open. I am a UCCS alumni from the uh, geography department, spent about seven years in nonprofit management, and then uh, came here. I'm also a graduate student at UCCS in the School of Public Affairs. So uh, student life is really important <laughs> to me and making sure people feel welcome is also really important. Awesome. Well, I want to start off with kind of an easier first question, but I want to know why did UCCS decide to invest and build a downtown extension from the main campus? So it's a really great story. One of the reasons I actually applied for this job is hearing about the origination story. So I'll pass it along to you guys if you haven't heard it yet. But there is a committee on campus called Regional Connect. Jesse got a photo of that team up there <laughs> from our grand opening. But Regional Connect is a great group of community leaders and campus stakeholders who came together uh, and almost three years ago now, uh, one of their strategy sessions, the facilitator asked the group to discuss for a whole day what one bold move they would make for the university to benefit the region and the university. And after they spent the day using their brain power and their connections, they came up with the concept that the university needs to stop being the university on the hill that's removed from the community somewhat physically and have a presence downtown. So our initial name was UCCS Downtown Presence because this group of strategic thinkers and community leaders knew that it was important for UCCS to grow as our urban core developed. So I don't know about you, but I think that's an inspirational story in knowing that we were intentionally made and intentionally founded to do the work that we're doing. I definitely think having a downtown presence is a good idea because I can't say that I spent much time in the downtown area before working here. So it definitely broadened my horizons and I've seen some new places and definitely it's opened my eyes to the community for sure. 
Yeah, that's so great to hear from the student perspective. Yeah. So secondly, I want to know what the mission or goal behind the creation of this downtown location was. Yeah, so that group of uh, folks got together and their mission was to build a comprehensive, connected, first of its kind, urban learning hub. So innovation and academic excellence and partnership could thrive in our downtown environment. So downtown is the cluster, the center, the hub. We've talked a lot with downtown partnership over this series about why having that density is so important. It's important for economic development. It's important for workforce development as people mm -hmm. skill up in their careers and get graduate degrees or get certificates uh, post-secondary education. Um, so it's important to be comprehensive and connected to the university. And it's also important to make sure that we are staying connected to all of the civic and economic um, dynamic things happening in this part of our community. Mm -hmm. And the university having a presence there means that we're more involved in partnerships, initiatives, uh, things that benefit our students and things that benefit the community. So that is our mission. That's uh, what, what we were created to do. Cool. Well, I can't figure out how to get this background out of the way, so bear with me. But my third question is, how will student learning look different in the upcoming semesters with all of the new COVID restrictions in place? Yeah, there's actually a town hall going on today for students. I think it's at 4.30. You can jump onto that for current students to ask those questions and hear questions from main campus. But we all know that fall is going to look a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, in our town hall earlier this month, the chancellor shared that it's everyone's responsibility to protect the pride. So you do that by doing a couple of things, wearing your face mask, washing your hands, and making sure you're minding your social distance. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's about 10% uh, of classes are going to be on campus like normal with a plan to go remote if needed when, when, the, when and if the time arises. Those mm -hmm. classes will look different. Students will be wearing masks. They'll be asked to show compassion and, and use those masks to help protect people in the pride, the mountain lion pride. Yeah. Uh, and so that will look a little bit different. Um, but overall, nobody's going to be learning anything less. Nobody's going to be, um, you know, forced away. There's still so much dynamicism and uh, lifelong learning that is going to happen in the remote and hybrid environments. But just know that it will look a little bit different. Our space, we pride ourselves on creating collision moments, and those are moments where students and campus stakeholders can engage with the movers and shakers in our community. Mm -hmm. Because we can't coordinate those in person, because it's a little bit difficult with our new occupancy standards, um, what we're going to do is try to create hybrid or virtual programs. One that's coming up in the fall for UCCS downtown is our series on Hamilton. It's spotlighting our expertise, our faculty expertise for students to get the bigger picture, the bigger story on a pop culture phenomenon, which is the Hamilton stage yeah. production, or if you saw it on uh, Disney Plus, there are big stories to uncover. There's always something to learn. And, and our team here at UCCS downtown, as well as other departments on campus, are committed to making sure that those opportunities still exist for students and alumni, even though fall is going to look a little different. I can't say I'm not too worried because we have a great campus, a great community, and all the students are wonderful. So I don't really have much fear that people aren't going to be doing what they're asked in order to protect that pride. So students yeah. are pretty great if I say so myself, but our faculty <laughs> is also amazing too. <laughs> yeah, it's all a challenge and we're doing it together. Yeah. So my next question is probably the most important one I have, but it's what can students expect from our space specifically to ensure their health and their safety when they come here? Yeah, so we still have a few classes meeting at UCCS downtown. Um, those students can expect to be sitting at social distanced tables. They can expect to line up in, you know, if they need to go into a line to form uh, a check-in process or to hand in something. We have floor markings that show your safe social distance. Uh, professors have um, a barrier set up so that they can give their lecture without having to wear a face shield or anything like that. So uh, we're also going to be getting a camera and microphone installed so that 
many of our in-person events will be small and have a synchronous component. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that there are some classrooms on campus considering the same thing. Um, the photo that Jesse has up there is so great showing the ways that the space has been used before for po parade watch parties, for club mm -hmm. meetings, for alumni co-working. We will get back to those things. Don't worry about that. We will get back to those activities and providing that value. What we're doing now is we're making sure everyone's safe, we're being compassionate towards each other, and we're taking our value online but we are still providing that value, that's still that conduit to connecting you to downtown, connecting you to alumni, and connecting you to uh, concepts that further learning and education. Yeah, I love all of that. We'll get back to what it used to look like eventually, but all that yeah. patience and helping other people, we need to figure that out first. So in time, in time for sure. So my fifth question is, how has UCCS downtown contributed to the university and overall student academics and success? That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so originally before academics were held here on campus, whether that's a visiting lecture, uh, I know there's some geography classes that are housed on campus and they come downtown via the Metro, Mountain Metro bus and they see what our bus infrastructure is like. They come down and look at our urban built environment. They bring in subject matter experts. Um, I mentioned before some of the value is making sure UCCS is integral in the partnerships and the initiatives that are essential to the community at campus. Yeah. But for students, the value that we create is that collision that I mentioned, but also access. So mm -hmm. downtown is the cluster of civic and economic core in our community. So when you're learning about civics or learning about infrastructure or criminal justice or sociology, if you're learning that in an environment where you walk out the door and you're in that community or you walk out the door and you're at the crosswalk with a subject matter expert or somebody you know who maybe just gave some, um, some talks or gave a talk in, in the facility, the access is so much greater the access to community, where lots of stuff can be learned on campus. Campus is a wonderful place for diving into your studies, but some of those things are enhanced by being mm -hmm. off campus and, and centered in the downtown core. Yeah, the environment down here is amazing. And like you said, there's a lot more, the opportunity is enhanced, I'll say that, when you're mm -hmm. down in the downtown area. Yes. All right, we're kind of running short on time, but I have one more question to ask you if you want to bear with me. Okay. I really want to know, what do you enjoy most about our space here in the downtown area? So what I enjoy the most is that I think it's because you can, like I said a minute ago, you can walk right out and be in the center of something. Mm -hmm. There's always something going on culturally downtown. We have amazing new developments, a world-class museum that opens at the end of the month, the uh, United States Olympic yeah. Olympic Museum. It's beautiful. <laughs> I know. It looks amazing. So uh, working down here, I get to be the conduit or a champion to show students how much Color Springs has to offer while they're in their studies and they can tap into that downtown network and see that we have a growing urban environment minutes away from Colorado recreation. It is a one of a kind place and hopefully that student decides to start their career here in Colorado Springs and make this place even better bringing their knowledge and education to the workforce here. Uh, and also for alumni, connecting people to our downtown, helping them fall in love with all the things that are going on uh, is, a, is a side gig to what I do every yeah. day, but it's 100% it's uh, a passion of mine. Man, you answered all my questions better than I could have I thought. You really sold what we are down here and just the area in general. We'll put you on the sidewalk with a poster and tell people to come. <laughs> yeah, I would be on the sidewalk with a poster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to answer all my tedious questions. Like I said, you did a better job than I could have imagined. So thank you very much. Thanks, Jesse. Bye, everybody. All right. I'm going to get her to hop off there. So it's just me. All right. Welcome back. It's just me and you guys now. So I want to thank everyone once again. I've done that a lot so far, but I want to thank you all for joining another episode of our Feed Your Curiosity series. And tuning in on my last little hurrah here. So I hope everyone learned a little bit, got some insight as to what we're about down here, the area and just our space here at UCCS downtown. 
I want to thank Stephanie again for her time and all of her like amazing answers to my questions. Holy cow. Um, I want to remind everyone, don't forget to tune in next week. And I hope all of you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you all around. Bye everyone.